Chances are you'll find yourself mixing and mingling at a holiday party over the next few weeks. So you want food that you can eat while you walk and talk. So this morning, two options from Chef Glenn Lyman. We're making a holiday shrimp cocktail and beef tenderloin handwiches. Sandwiches. Not sandwiches. Sandwiches. Good morning, Glenn. Good, Good Ramona. It's so great to be back here. This is awesome. You know, this is the time of year where the holiday parties start coming. And you're going to different places, and you got to think about what are we going to eat. Yeah. And it's the hardest thing when you go to a party because you don't want to. You know, you walk into one place, they got the potluck casseroles everywhere, and it's not mm -hmm. like you're going to sit down a big plate of food. Right. Or they're passing around that little puffy cheese thing that's you don't even know what's in it. So <laughs> yeah, you're not quite sure, and yeah, you don't so, want to ask because it, because it seems rude. And I got to tell you how many times my wife grabbed one. She's like, I'm not eating it. <laughs> And then I got to grab it and I got to eat it. I'm like, I don't even know what it was. So we want to sit down with some, some hearty foods and do things. We're going to do some stuff today. We got a real shrimp cocktail. Uh, this is a traditional meal that we have when we decorate our tree and decorate our, mm -hmm. decorate our house for Christmas. Okay. So at Chef Glenn's house, okay. we don't buy the little ring of shrimp? Well, that's shrimp. what I tell you. I got a real pet peeve, and it's the shrimp ring. It's the 75 identical tiny little shrimp that uh -huh. look exactly alike in a little thing of sauce What is our in the problem middle. with that? <laughs> well, I don't know. With the factory they make it, they get them so lined up so nicely. Uh -huh. I think it's shrimp, man. We want to make it messy. We want it to be big. We want it to be good. So okay. I go to the store. I got some really good fresh shrimp right here. that we. Uh, you can buy them frozen. That's fine. But we thawed them out. And we're going to throw them right in some salted water. And you want, okay. the, you want this water to taste like ocean water. Shrimp from the sea. So Let's don't make, be afraid to put a lot afraid. of salt it's in little, there. It's not going to soak up and be salty, but it's going to give it some flavor and it's going to be in like an instant brine too. Now, are we throwing the shrimp into water that's already boiling? Boiling water. And it's going to almost look like they're not cooking because it stops boiling really quick because they're mm -hmm. so, cold, so cold. But um, they're cooking. They're only going to take about three or four minutes. So we're going to get these cooking right in here. Okay. And then meanwhile, we're going to make some handwiches, you call them? Handwiches. I like it. Handwiches. Okay. So we got some... We do all our holiday shopping at the BJ's Wholesale Club, and I go with my wife up and down the aisles, and after my treat is to get to go to the butcher counter. <laughs> and then I said, I get custom hand-cut uh, filet mignons, and we're going to put them on the grill. And we're going to make, like you've seen me before, we have steak dinner at our house, but not everyone gets their own steak. Mm -hmm. so we're going to take one steak, and we're going to share it with everybody. Uh -huh. um, this one, we're going to put on some sandwiches, and we're perfect for a holiday party. So uh, one or two steaks will feed four to eight people. That's great. So it's going to be great. So, here's, so it won't cost a lot of money. No, it's filet mignon. You want it to taste good. It's the holidays, so celebrate. Uh, my typical steak season is kosher salt, mm -hmm. G. Cook's Creole Soul. Okay, that's what sets it off. The G. Cook's Creole Soul. Did you hear that? Soul. I like it. I like it. Okay, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And this is going to be the ultimate steak season. This is what we'll do on any kind of steak we can put on the grill, indoors or out. Okay. And you know I like a grill pan, so. Yes, I do. We're going to get that sizzling right away, right there. Now, we do, do we need to put the seasoning on the other side? Too? Yeah, but we don't have to do it until it's already on. So now okay. we're going to put a little bit of salt. What else do I have on there? The G. Cook's Creole sauce. Add a girl, and then a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, just, just a splash. It'll go a long way. It's going to get that caramelization and get it kind of crusty and okay. yummy, too. So we got this cooking, right? And now our shrimp, we can take, pay a little attention to that. They just need a few more minutes. You see these? Once they get all pink, then we're ready to They're pull them very, out, They're right? very, very, very close. Let's put them right now. And that's going to shock them and keep them from cooking and getting mushy like the little one in that plastic ring that you get all the time. So mushiness is your issue. <laughs> it's mushy. They're funny. I don't even know. Okay, so we got in there. And now we're going to do the rolls. This is really fun, too. And you can hand me some of those seasonings that are over there. Okay. We've so got, got some, some caraway seeds. Yeah, some little French rolls. more salt? A little bit of kosher salt. I'm going to brush some wheat. Butter works really good. This is olive oil. I like to lighten up all my dishes just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We got um, whole wheat French rolls here. A little, little caraway seed, which is optional, but this is a really fun little crunch. Kind of give that flavor of rye bread you've had uh -huh. before. Um, just a little sprinkle of kosher salt. Now, I've noticed that you always cook with kosher salt. Because I know when I grab it, I know how much is in there. And if okay. you're shaking, we, we don't even own salt shakers at our house anymore. So everybody in the family, that's pet peeve. Your for children next have learned to chefify. It's <laughs> just salt. season before you cook. We're gonna put these in a 425 degree oven, probably about five to six minutes, and get them nice and crusty. And here's some that we already have. Okay. It's gonna be beautiful. So do you use any roll in particular? You can get any kind of roll at the store. Do you want to be a little bit crusty and soft in the middle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just all you want to do is brown them up. It's like brown okay. and stir. Very good. And let's see here. Let's get our steaks now, too. So these have been cooking about four to five minutes per side. Uh-huh. For medium rare to medium, depending on what you like. Uh, let me have, have that plate right there, Ramona. We'll slice this up all really right. nice. All right. We're ready to plate it up. Oh, this is going to be fun. Now the shrimp's cooling, right? Uh-huh. This steak took just about 10 minutes, and the, and the rolls just take about six. So this is, uh, the shrimp is another thing you can do a day in advance. It'd be really, really wonderful. Okay. You can do them just like this and wrap them in a paper towel and a plastic bag and keep them ice cold for the next day. Mm -hmm. Get some of that stuff out of your way. Oh, great. 
So we got. That makes it easier, less to do the day of. We got beef filet. We don't want to make them too big. Remember, we just want something that you're going to eat at the party and right, not go Right, because it's not a sandwich. It's not a sandwich. It's, it's a, a sandwich. And who wants finger sandwiches? Right. Tiny, tiny little finger sandwich. This is a sauce that I made. You get this recipe on your website and mine. WCNC.com slash Right, we got today. a little sour cream. We got some mustard and we got some horseradish sauce. Ooh. I'm going to put that right in here. And you can cut these right in half and then everyone gets their own it's sandwich. It's their own little sandwich. Now. Let me grab some shrimp out of here. I was keeping it ice cold for us. Excuse me. Once again, that's WCNC.com slash Charlotte Today. And your website? Gcooks.com. Check okay. it out. So shrimp. I don't like them in a ring. I like them tossed. Get a big bowl. Get the big ones if you can. And, mm -hmm. and, and build them really high. Cocktail sauce. This is a basic one I make. It's just chili sauce or ketchup or both. Horseradish, lemon, and a little bit of hot so sauce. So you make your own cocktail sauce? Yeah, why not? You know, I never thought about it. It's one of those things like ketchup. I never thought to we're make gonna, my own. We're going to save you a little. Let me see that plate again. We'll put it all together. Okay. Let Ramona mix it up. In her white outfit. Oh, I'm going to watch you know, his I'm drip. You know, I'm very afraid of that. I'm going to watch his drip right on it. It's going to be great. Let's see you take a taste of something. Colleen you is, can do it. is an oh. evil girl. <laughs> Which one are you going to do? I'm going to go for the shrimp. You like you mean it? Okay, here we go. Watch your shirt. Okay, not squishy like my ring. That's the real deal right there. That's good stuff. See? Oh, Glenn, you know how to do it. It's going to be a great holiday. I feel like I could make my own sauce I think now. you could, too, and so share with your you. friends. WCNC.com slash Charlotte Today. GCooks.com. Thank it out. you so much. Awesome, Ramona. Always right. great. When we come